Hello everybody, my name is Shirley Wiseman. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, um, you're with Aunt Sissy, and I got my apron on, if you can see it. But today, we're going to be making some lemon balm jelly. I just did a video on um, lavender jelly, how to harvest lavender to make jelly. And now I've taken you to my lemon balm patch here, which it smells really good. Let me cut some off and show you up close here. Let's do this here. So herbs, if you have an herb garden, I like to go up to them and rub them between your fingers and they will smell wonderful. This is lemon balm. It is part of, it's a perennial herb. It's part of the mint family. And I'm going to make some jelly. I have not made jelly out of uh, lemon balm before, but I've done it with lemon thyme. So this is going to be a lemony flavored jelly. I've also made mint jelly and I'm actually using the recipe which you can find. Here I've got my bucket here, my little dish, and we're just going to cut some off. You want to make sure if you're going to harvest um, your herbs, and sometimes this is going to be a lot here, so I don't know if I'm going to use it all for jelly, but I'm just going to be cutting the tops. Eventually they will make soon they will start to get their big leaves to start with they get smaller as they grow up and they get um flowers and then it, it goes to seed so you want to make sure you cut it before it goes to seed um, so lemon balm is good for relaxing like lavender is as well it's also good for digestion so anxiety this helps anxiety so it's nice to I'm going to pick off the bad leaves. Okay, that one the bugs has got, have gotten, but I've got enough here for everybody, for the bugs and for me. So, I like to put a few sprigs of this in a pot of uh, with boiling water and make some herbal tea and drink it in the evening. Um, it's good to harvest your herbs every year before they go to seed, and then you can have some to dry. I also have um, oregano and I have uh, what do I have over there my oregano is kind of dying down but sage had to buy some new ones this year but normally they come back every year this has just exploded so it grows really well um, so we're gonna try for the first time to make jelly out of this so I'll do another video but this is what I'm doing first of all um, the recipe I use mm, well, I got a little uh, Daddy Long Legs in there. Let's get him out. Well, he'll get out eventually. Where'd he go? Well, anyway, I'm going to do another video, but this on how to actually make it. There he goes. Oh, okay. Um, we don't want him inside. So, I use a recipe on Sure Gel for mint jelly, and I use it for all my herbs. And actually, I'm using the same one for my lavender jelly, but uh, lavender doesn't have any pectin in it naturally, so I'm going to have to use two things of pectin. This should be just fine, just with one package of pectin, uh, and I do use the Sure Gel. So, you need four cups, and I have so much here. Oh my goodness, I could probably make four cases of jelly. So, you want to just pick off any bad leaves. Some of them had white spots where the... Uh, spiders had gotten on there. Some of them have brown, some of them are eaten up. So so basically this is we're, we're looking good here. Um, and then we're gonna chop up the leaves. Pick out some bad ones there. We're gonna rinse it and chop them up. That'll make the flavor, the aroma and the fragrance come out. And then we are going to boil it with some water. And then take the water and use that water to make the jelly. So, all right, so that is enough picking for right now. We will go inside and I'll do the next step on how to make the jelly. And thank you for joining Aunt Sissy on how to harvest lemon balm um, and to make lemon balm jelly. All right, thank you. <music> 